Hey guys, this is Daniel, and we need to talk. So I got a call today from one of my friends and uh, who lives in Florida and um, after the disaster with Hurricane Irma she was telling me obviously we were talking and getting updated about what's going on and then what is the damage and everything and she was so happy that despite the whole damage that has been occurred um, she had some savings and that because the insurance companies many times will not take responsibility and because of that it was very good that she had some saving which made me realize that it might be a good opportunity to talk about how much exactly emergency savings should you have so before heading today to my next meeting I want to take the opportunity to discuss a little bit about a new weekly segment that I want to start it's called two minute Tuesday during those segments I will talk about quick financial tips that you can better your financial situation so today we're gonna talk about how much exactly emergency savings should you have so let's get started so if you are self-employed generally speaking you want to have closer to the six mark six months mark of your total expenses if you are an employed individual and you are a w-2 employee you want to have closer to the three month mark of the total expenses i truly hope that this has been helpful for you if you have any questions comment below if you are new to the channel subscribe i'm giving weekly financial tips and advice and see you soon